Ah, <sighs> Konami. Why? Why? Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. All right, so here's the rub. You know about this uh, little known game called PT, right? It is a fan favorite, beloved amongst uh, gamers because it is just such a unique and compelling horror game that served as a playable teaser for the now canceled Silent Hills and many consider it to be one of the best horror games out there, period. Even though it was just a free playable teaser, it was just such a cool concept and Kojima and Guillermo del Toro just did such creative things with it that it continues to be beloved and people would love to play it except it's no longer available for download on PlayStation 4 because of the Kojima Konami split and given that Silent Hills is cancelled and PT serves as I guess a bit of an ad or a teaser for that title it's no longer available for download but people still wondered okay PlayStation 5's coming out and if I do have the game downloaded on my PS4, am I able to take that, transfer it over to PlayStation 5, and play it on there given the backwards compatibility of PlayStation 5, which essentially plays every PlayStation 4 game, save for like 10 of them? And there was no clear answer to this until news outlets started to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 and actually try this out. Turns out, New Salad Polygon tested this, and they had some initial success, but then, after a while, Konami decided, hey, you're getting something good out of us, we can't have that. So they stepped in and essentially blocked the ability to play PT on PlayStation 5, even though inherently it was actually possible. So here's what Polygon reports, PT is not playable on PlayStation 5, there was backwards compatibility here, it's gone now. So it's not something that is impossible, it's just something that Konami is actively choosing not to enable, or rather was enabled, and then Konami actively went out of their way to disable. So scrolling down here, you'll find that the article states, PT was removed from Sony's PlayStation Store. If you didn't already have it, you were pretty much out of luck. The bad news for prospective PlayStation 5 owners is that your existing download of PT cannot be transferred over to Sony's new console, nor is the game playable through backwards compatibility. Though Polygon does note right here that at one point over the past two weeks, it was both transferable and playable on PlayStation 5. Apparently, this editor played PT on PlayStation 5 in late October, the day after they received their review unit. But it appears that when the PlayStation 5 launches on November 12th, it won't play PT through backwards compatibility. And this is highlighted in this screenshot right here. So clicking on it and expanding it, you'll find that it reads, this PS4 game isn't playable on PlayStation 5. For more information, go here. But prior to this, everything worked all right. According to Polygon, PT was the first PS4 title I tested through backwards compatibility on PS5. On October 24th, I transferred my copy of PT to and played the game on my PlayStation 5, picking up from a recent save that carried over from PlayStation 4. So beyond compatibility, saves, transfer just fine. Then I restarted PT from the beginning and played through it a bit more. It seemed to work fine. In fact, the 4K screenshot at the top of this post was captured from the PlayStation 5 review unit that Sony sent me. But within the last few days, all of that changed because PT is now listed as a playable on PlayStation 4 title, meaning it cannot be played on PlayStation 5. And Polygon posted a screenshot showing this, so clicking on it, you can see right here, playable on PlayStation 4, and there is a symbol that indicates the game cannot be run on PlayStation 5. And owning a PS5 myself, I can confirm that this is real. Games only playable on PlayStation 4 will have this indicator right here. And I'll say again, this wasn't the case initially. PT was updated to be blocked on PlayStation 5. Now, it's not just that PT can no longer be played on PlayStation 5. It cannot even be transferred from PS4 to PS5. So according to Polygon, apparently they were forced to do a factory reset of their PS5 review unit for some reason, which deleted all game content from their system and they learned that they were no longer able to transfer PT from PS4 to PS5 
after Konami updated the game as such. Now, somebody else at Polygon apparently still has their PT copy sitting in their PS5 SSD, but they are no longer able to run it. And the thing is, the game ran just fine on PlayStation 5. There were no major technical issues that led to this. Polygon emphasizes that they experienced no noticeable issues during the 10 minutes in which they tested the game. Now, just in case, they reached out to Sony to see if they have a statement about this on why suddenly PT was blocked from PS5 backwards compatibility, to which they simply said that this was a publisher decision. So it was not Sony who stepped in and blocked this for no reason. It was simply Konami who went to PlayStation and said, hey, no, we don't want this game to be playable on PlayStation 5 in any way, shape or form. We don't want people to transfer the game over to PlayStation 5. We want it blocked off from PlayStation 5 entirely. And I'm just so baffled by this because PT is without question one of the greatest creations that Konami has published, if you ask me and if you ask many others, and for them to take this great thing that exists and for them to just not do anything with it, to completely try to erase it and try to make it difficult for people to access it, it's just a move that I, I don't understand. I guess one factor to consider is that when you finish PT, you essentially get a bit of a teaser and advertisement for a canceled project, Silent Hills. So maybe that's part of it, but I imagine it wouldn't be too difficult to just remove that completely from the game and have it so that when you finish PT, it just says, thank you for playing or something. I don't suspect it has to do with like a legal conflict with Kojima or something because Konami owns the IP, they own PT, they own Silent Hill, they own Metal Gear. They can do whatever they want with PT, and they could easily find ways to release this game to the public so that people can download this and continue to experience it. But they're just making life difficult for the sake of making life difficult for no real good reason. Hell, this feels personal. It feels like they have such a grudge against Kojima because of what went down between them that they'd go so far out of their way to deprive people of something that exists that was free just to erase his name from Konami as much as possible, just to rub it in his face. I don't know. And this is all obviously conjecture. I don't actually know why Konami is doing this, but I don't get the sense that there is a particularly good reason. And it's not even like people are asking them to release a PS5 version with enhancements or anything just allow people who already have the thing downloaded to transfer it over to PlayStation 5 and backwards compatibility mode. And then beyond that, a number of fans have tried to remake PT and Konami was very quick to shut those projects down. And they're doing this despite Konami clearly having no intentions to make anything more out of PT to do something with it. They just kind of want to bury it to a degree that just feels so unnecessarily petty. I just don't get you, Konami. You have something good here and you're bearing that, but you're outputting crap like Metal Gear Survive and the new Contra game that came out and Mobile Castlevania and Pachinkos and all of these things that take these beloved franchises and utterly butcher them. I've never seen a company try so hard to bury the good things that they have while outputting the things that people least desire out of these incredibly valuable and beloved IPs. Now, there is a rumored Silent Hill game for PlayStation 5 that apparently is being worked on, and those rumors seem to have a lot of merit to them. A number of sources have kind of been saying the same thing, so we'll see how that turns out, but I just don't know how a company can be so dedicated to making decisions that will make people dislike them, even more than they already are disliked. At this point, I wouldn't even be against if Konami released PT and sold it at, I don't know, $5 or something, just at a cheap enough price where, at the very least, there is some path towards more players being able to access this thing and download it. Obviously, a good company would just release it for free because it was a free game when it initially launched. But, you know, at this point, PT is beloved enough where I feel like this is a compromise people be willing to take if it ultimately means that PT is available to the general public. But alas, this is Konami we're talking about. They have a proclivity for being party poopers. 
I'd expect no less from them. All they had to do was nothing, and everything would have been a-okay, and, you know, PT is still not on the PlayStation 4, it would still not be available for download, but at least the people who already have it and who are able to play it right now on their PlayStation 4 would be able to just play that thing they already have more conveniently by putting everything on this one new console that plays both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. There's just no good reason to block the simple process of transferring a game over to a thing that is able to play it. So yeah, it looks like I'll have to continue to use my original PlayStation 4 as a giant PT cartridge. I suppose I could transfer the game over to PS4 Pro and play it that way, but I'm scared to like mess with that file in case something goes wrong along the way and I lose that file and I'm no longer able to play PT on my PS4, so I'm just leaving that alone and just leaving it in my PlayStation 4 and just using that as my PT cartridge. But yeah, this is where we're at with PT and PlayStation 5, folks. PS5 is fully capable of running PT with no issues whatsoever, with backwards compatibility. It's just Konami went out of their way to say, nah, bro. It ain't happening. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on how Konami went out of their way to block PT compatibility with PlayStation 5, despite the game just inherently working on PlayStation 5 starting out until Konami stepped in. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.